Oh, got one. Yep. Wow. Feels good to get one. Oh, oh, there's one. Another one. Ooh, got one. There it is. A little better. Ooh, best one all day, for sure. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we're doing another pond fishing mission. Uh, my wife has some friends in a neighborhood that has a couple ponds in it, or one pond in it. They really have no idea what's in there, if there's any bass or whatever. They're just a fishing pond that they said it's in their neighborhood. So I was like, hey, why not give it a try? fall fish right now so the bite might be tough and like i said i don't even know if there's bass or anything in these ponds i'm guessing there should be i, I have no idea but we're gonna get after it today i know i haven't been posting a whole lot but appreciate y'all continue to support my channel and support me it means a lot i'll get the gopro on i'll see you guys there in a second so we are at this pond and it looks pretty good oh something just scared off right there Okay, this looks promising. Oh, more little fish, little bluegill. Okay, perfect. That was gonna be smaller than this, but it looks awesome. Now, the first way I'm gonna use is this cast fishing topwater bait down under. It might look like a normal popper, but I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. It is anything, oh, that was a bass, I think. It is anything but that. So you can cast it out. The difference between this, you know, a normal pop, you're just gonna try to pop like that. This one, put some slack in the line and basically swing your rod down. What that's gonna do is gonna create a huge bubble trail behind it and it's gonna have it dive under the water, hence its name down under. It's gonna give it a good pop down below, pop it up. Something probably these fish haven't seen before, I'm hoping. And just gives a huge, bubble trail behind it and hopefully enticing a couple fish to snack on it so we'll see here i'm throwing this on my hakuma itx 3000 in the hakuma psycho 6 72 medium light and i'm using 15 pound beyond braid might not be the most perfect setup for this but it's gonna do the job just fine. It's a go-to combo for me for kind of all my techniques. Let's see if I can get a little closer. There we go. You know that waterfall maybe? Or not waterfall, the fountain. Can't even speak. Oh no, did that just pop off? Oh, I gotta get that somehow. All right, now I gotta rescue my lure somehow and hopefully it brings this way here. But as of now, I gotta retie on and try to figure this out. All right, so re raid I have this little mini Guggenfeld Zinger spinnerbait. And for the trailer, I put one of the cast, or cast fishing right here, a little swim bait. Their Prodigy swim bait right here, the Chartreuse. So hopefully got, that gives it a little extra kick to it and hopefully can entice more bites. I am watching my lure that snapped off kind of get pushed more and more from the fountain to the shore. So when that gets closer, I'm gonna obviously snag that back up, but still gonna go try out here and see if I can catch some fish. Trying to see if I can. I thought I had him perfectly. There we go. Thought, thought I was leaving without this lure, but it'll be outside your mind. Lure retrieval success. So, putting that in there for now. So we know that's a go. Now we can focus on just regular bass fish. Oh, 
Oh, got one. Yep. Wow. This could be the smallest largemouth. One of them I think I've ever caught in my life. Alrighty. Well, we are on the board, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna take this out. Alrighty, I'm trying to get a nice little underwater release for you guys, but I guess one dink is better than none. Well, good news is I caught one and we know they're in here. The only thing that's bad news is that was maybe like a seven or eight inch fish and I don't know if there's gonna be ones bigger than that, I'm really hoping, or if that's gonna be like the kind of average size of today or if that's it. So, um, thankful for a dink, but man, I hope there is a little bit bigger ones in here. We'll find out. Feels good to get one. Oh, oh, there's one. Another one. There we go. No, it spit it. No. Ah! All right, all right. Could be onto something here. Spinnerbait might be. I just don't think they're big. Now that's gonna be the question. How? How big are? I didn't feel huge, but it felt a little better than the first one. Dang. Okay. It's good to see some life. All right, spinnerbait, we're, we're getting there. Trusty spinnerbait, let me tell you. Get under this tree. Let me go around and try to cast in here. Oh, something blew up right there. A little, might have been a little bass, but. Oh, yep, there's a bass right there. Thing's probably on the same size that uh, I caught earlier. But I'm gonna try to see if I can finesse. Finesse it in the corner. Oh yeah, that's literally, I think, the same size as what I just caught. There's a couple of them right there. And I think, why are you trying to catch such, oh gosh, this is all tangled. Catch a small fish. Well, I'm just trying to catch anything right now, and if that's all we got, this is what I'm gonna have to do, you know? I have to manage. All right, that took forever. I had to retie everything because it was just a mess. And those bass that I did see right here look to be gone. Grant. Oh, there we go. Nope, they're still here. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's probably the biggest bass I've caught today. <laughs> and it's like 10 inches, but I wanted that spinnerbait. I was hoping it'd come right back for it, and sure enough, it did. So, get a nice little release. I'll take a picture real quick and get a nice release in a second. Ooh, back to, ooh, gone. Alrighty. What a surprise that was. Well, spinnerbait strikes again. And it was literally in probably like eight inches of water over here. <laughs> Came up and just smacked it. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to underhand. In here, Let's see, if I get another one. I hit it right over here. Let's go. All right, actually, I'll move. Ooh, zip up my bag. Make a little move. That was epic. That's Oh, I bet that was one of the ones I saw. They were hanging really right here down by this drain. And then it left. All of a sudden it came. I tried to throw it in there just hoping. And I got it. So that's a quick clutch. All right. Now back to a little more 
open area, but... There we go. Got one. There it is. A little better. Ooh, best one all day. For sure. Let's go. That's what I'm freaking talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's better fish. Let's go, man. What a pretty one. Yeah, it'll be right in its mouth. Let's go. That's, that's better. Right in the corner. Pop right out. There's that. Let's go, guys. Alrighty. Not bad for number three. Get a nice release of this bad boy back in the water. Get a nice actually I'll do an underwater release for you guys. Try to get it. Hopefully it's clear. Best fish of the day so far, by a lot. Sorry if uh, if that uh, underwater shot wasn't super clear. I just realized now looking down, it looks pretty mu murky, but uh, I don't know, hopefully it managed, but all right. Three fish and that was by far the best one. And I know by many standards, that's not a big fish and I know that, but to me, that's a decent fish for a pond that I thought was maybe gonna only hold like a 10 inch bass. So, the spinner bait seems to be doing the trick right now. I don't know if it can call us a pattern or just write what they want when they see it, or the movement, the color. Let me tell you, this trailer right here from Cast Fishing, this Prodigy swim bait trailer, it is holding up. Durable has not fallen off yet not been torn up nothing i mean shoot i stand by those guys those swim baits just by themselves alone and then now to add them as a trailer i mean that's just that's just deadly and this little swim a little uh spinner bait right here seems to be doing the trick too so the good news this pond has turned out to have been a success and the fact that there are bass in here they're not huge by anyone's standard they're not trophy bass but they are fun to catch i bet in summertime, I bet if you threw a little popper or something out here, oh, they'd probably go nuts. But uh, spinnerbait's been killing it. That's been the only thing to bite. I think the one I had, the top water lure is definitely too big. Now looking at the size of the bass, they're not gonna touch that. And then right now I'm also trying to find, I had lost one of my GoPros, which is not good at all. To say the least, it must have fallen on my bag, but it has to be, it's in one of these little coves, so. You gotta find that at some point because that has some, some of my underwater footage on it. But I'll be fishing still for a little bit longer, try to see if I catch any more. And then definitely need to find this GoPro at some point. But I don't know where it would be if it's not right over here. So that's not good by any other stretch. But good news is I'm catching fish. Ah, dropped it too early. Ooh. There's a, there we go. Oh, there we go. Dink fest, baby. Oh gosh, something's on his lip. That's not good. I don't know. Oof, don't wanna really touch it too much. Little dink. He's got like a growth or something coming out of him. Not the prettiest looking one, but hey. Thank you for playing. Alrighty. Gotta, I think that's even smaller than the first one I caught today. But I'm about to switch up batteries real quick before the GoPro dies, and I'll turn it back on in a second. All right, guys. Well, day is done. And man, that was that was actually surprising. That was fun. I know it was a it was a ding fest. I, I know, I know, it wasn't a huge amount of like large fish caught. I get that, but. It was fun. It was a new pond I've never been to before, never fished at, went on a whim and caught some fish. So, I mean, I can't complain about that. I can't 
knock on that that was fun i mean i got out there but, i mean obviously the the bait of the day was this bad boy here the spinner bait with the trailer on it i mean that was the key to success i obviously the fish were not that big i mean the only fish that maybe could have eaten my uh top water bait was uh the, the second to last one i think was the biggest fish i caught was like maybe 15 inches at most given maybe probably 13 14 i don't know but that was the only one i could have actually eaten it the other ones are just way too small but hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really fun to go out there and film and make I, like i said it was a, kind of spur on the whim just been like oh a new pond kind of was presented to me like i said from my wife's friends and said you can try it out they don't know what was in there and it turned out to be fun a lot of dinks like i said earlier but i mean it was a fun day of fishing i can't complain to catch anything if i rather catch small fish than no fish in my opinion but i hope you guys enjoyed this video today like i said it was fun to make it was fun to go out there and film try new waters i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you liked it or what you want to see more of and see you guys on the next adventure